Good morning, everybody. From Tokyo. So we moved locations again yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now we're staying in Saksa. And we came back to this. Look at that. That is the Tokyo Sky Tree, the uh, building that Shibuya said wasn't that tall in Apparently, the last video. <laughs> it's way taller like, when you're closer to what, it. I think one of the tallest structures in the entire world. So. It's in the top three. Yeah. T for scale. <laughs> And there she is, there's Tia. This huge, by far the biggest building that we've ever done this in front of. That's Long walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we doing today? So Japan is known pretty worldwide for having some of the best convenience stores. So we kind of thought it would be a fun challenge to eat out of only convenience stores the entire day. All three meals. It's not really the type of thing that we usually do. We did something similar to this in Thailand. Mm -hmm. But we just figured we'd try the most interesting things from all the different convenience stores. Because a lot of people have talked about them in the comments. So, mm -hmm. so it might be fun. Lawson's. And Family and Mart. And Family Mart. All right. <laughs> Starting off with 7-Eleven, it is Japan's most popular convenience store. They have whole sections of noodles, they have fresh baked goods, they have drinks, hot goods, cold goods, sandwiches. I don't even know where to start. It honestly feels way more like a miniature grocery store full of prepared foods than it does a convenience store. Drink time. You want coffee? Or you want tea? I'm gonna get some kind of tea. We're gonna get something healthy, Mom. Octopus salad. This might be one of the weirdest breakfast combinations that we've ever had. We just grabbed whatever looked good. Should I start? I got pancakes. Usually this wouldn't be something that I'd get. Well, that's a lie. It's not something I usually get from a convenience store, but it says it's already pre-buttered and there's already maple syrup on it, but I don't, I don't see how. Is that not the most beautiful stack of pancakes you've ever seen? They're so cute, I almost don't wanna, don't wanna eat them. Interesting, so that's the butter, and I think the maple syrup is like congealed. Is that a good word? It's like jelly, like maple syrup jelly. That's pretty tasty. The, the pancake is so soft and really sweet. Tastes like really good buttermilk pancakes. The margarine and the maple syrup definitely tastes like the cheapest version of maple syrup you can find. Like the, what's the one, that we, the, the American one? Aunt Buttersworth? Aunt, Aunt Jemima. Jemima. Yeah. Aunt Jemima's pancake syrup but and it's such like a, a nostalgic taste. I love this about all the packaging at the convenience stores. They're all very easy to open. They have these little pull tabs everywhere. So just like that, without mangling it. What did you get? I got pork cutlet. They also call it tonkatsu. We haven't had this at a real restaurant before uh, yet in Japan. So I'm gonna try the 7-Eleven version first. That's basically a fried cutlet of pork with this sweet brown sauce and cabbage. I think that that's all it is, but it, it actually tastes like, it's pretty good. How's the bread? The bread's good, it's really soft. It's kind of just like- um, Like buttermilk bread? It's like spongy almost, yeah. but not in a bad way. You know how when you eat sandwiches from delis in the US, 
everything's sort of chewy and soggy at the same time. This is not like that at all. Mostly what this has told me is that I need to try real tonkatsu. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to go healthy, so I got octopus, broccoli, and basil salad. I've never heard of anything like that before. I think there's like a pesto dressing, so I'm shaking it. Also, I'm just going to say it now. We forgot to ask for chopsticks, even though they usually give them to you, so I'm gonna have to like <laughs> eat them awkwardly. Just go for it. We used to have chopsticks of our own, but we lost them. Okay. It's honestly pretty good. Really? Does it taste like fresh? Yeah. And it's not it's not fishy at all. Huh. The octopus is really just more of like a like a texture thing. That's pretty good. It's just like a nice light pesto salad. For breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for a potato, because I, I don't like octopus. That's actually really good. Ooh. You're eating the least salady part of the salad. Potatoes the potato. are a vegetable, right? <laughs> no? No? Oh, fine. Is the broccoli cooked? Uh, I, no, it's raw. I also don't like raw broccoli. Like Trivia said earlier, Japan really knows how to package their stuff. This onigiri, they put plastic in between the the seaweed and the rice so the seaweed doesn't get all soggy throughout the day. That's just brilliant. Even though I've done this a thousand times, I just always mess this up. So you start with one. Ah. Okay, number three. Okay, brown good. Usually it goes a lot better than that, but you guys get the idea. I chose a tuna mayonnaise onigiri because that's my absolute favorite. I'm going to see how it compares to the Michelin star onigiri. <laughs> I absolutely love the fact that Japan puts so much mayonnaise on absolutely everything. So this tuna is like 80% mayonnaise and 20% tuna and that's just the only way to eat it, in my personal opinion. The rice is never dry. It's a little cold, which, but the rice is never dry. The seaweed is always nice and crisp, and the tuna and the mayonnaise is just. Tia. Oh. Thoughts on 7-Eleven? I. I'm gonna create a lot of conflict on this channel, but I think 7-Eleven is by far the best konbini. I'm not going to express an opinion like that, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're going next to Family Mart, mm -hmm. which is the third most popular konbini in Japan. Yeah, so that's where we're going to eat lunch. Except this Family Mart is a little bit different from the other other ones. It's like, also like on the other side of Tokyo. This is Chiyoda City, I believe. It really feels like so much different from the other parts of Tokyo that we've been. Like they don't have those little glowing signs everywhere and advertisements. advertisements. There's no sunshine. The streets are like mega wide and so are the so are the sidewalks. It's very business districty. Speaking of, we did come here to do business with a convenience store. <laughs> How convenient. Oh my it doesn't say Family Mart, but I believe Family Mart owns this branch. What's special about this place is that there's no workers here. 
Everything is completely automated. So futuristic. There's the self-checkout things. Behind that, there's microwaves. That's the whole store. That's there's so no cute. employees here. This is the future. One thing I've noticed between both of these convenience stores is that there's a lot of Italian s food in these places. Like you can always get spaghetti and pizza. And I wouldn't really expect that. You want noodles? Sure. Will you eat this one? Noodles in a bun. What do I do now? Is it step here? I'll get it. We figured it out. Okay, I don't know if I would recommend a self-checkout convenience store in Japan. It's... It was probably us doing something. Oh, 100%. It was very confusing. But it wasn't like a traditional self-checkout where you just kind of scan it yourself. The whole setup knew exactly what you were carrying before you even scanned anything in. Yeah. And tried to predict. So we had to figure out how to like add a new item because I didn't see the third one. But it just like knew what we had. That's crazy. I don't understand. Anyways, we got food. Second, uh, second one of the day. Can I preface this by saying this is not a good representation of what we actually eat in a day. <laughs> we usually eat a little bit healthier. My lunch today is udon, which is thick wheat noodles, and I think this is pork. And it was kind of cool because the soup, which we heat up in the microwave at the the komini was like a congealed block. I'm a little scared. Those noodles are so thick. Is it good? That's pretty good. Mmm. I thought the noodles would be like weird and dehydrated or chewy. They're so soft. We have the perfect consistency. And the soup? Salty, frothy. Oh, that's, that's really good actually. 10 out of 10 recommend this one. Oh, it's so good. I, I let Tia know. choose my lunch. <laughs> As, oh, I did get noodles. Okay, this is... <laughs> so, why am I always the one that eats the weird stuff? I'm so sorry. This is a hot dog bun with pasta inside of it. It's yakisoba. The bun is really soft, at least. So it's also not refrigerated at all. So, uh, we're gonna see how it goes. It's like spaghetti, sort of, in a hot dog bun. I feel like I would have made this for myself when I was like eight years old. <laughs> Dessert. This is a melon pun. They are very popular. I've never had one before. I don't think you've had one before. No. The package does say it has fermented butter from Normandy, France. I don't, I don't know what fermented butter is. Oh, look at that. That's so soft. <gasps> oh, I thought it had like, it would have filling or something. No, it's just the... Oh wait, there's like... There's like a little bit in the edges. I think that's just butter though. It doesn't really smell like melon. Okay. You want to try at the same time? Cheers. I really like that. It's okay. It's buttery and very mildly sweet. I mean, that's why I'm just kind of indifferent. <laughs> it's not like punching me in the face with how sweet it is. It's buttery like a croissant and the consistency is similar, but it's a little bit thicker and more dense. It just tastes like bread. <laughs> Next up, dinner time. It's night time. <laughs> and we are now hungry again for dinner. We're going to our last spot. Mm -hmm. It's called Lawson's. Yes, it is. I think Japan's second most popular convenience store. There's one thing in particular that I'm really looking forward to from Lawson. Oh, they've got an Anthony Bourdain endorsed. That's the thing I was, I was gonna leave it a secret. That's the thing I was saying. Well, I was it's Anthony about. Bourdain, I'm just saying, okay. <laughs>
decided to come back to our apartment because it's a little cold and dark outside. So welcome to our Airbnb, which we're sharing with our friends Lisa and Josh. Uh, it's a little dirty in there, uh, but we have a traditional Japanese style room where all the beds are on the floor and uh, it's just a little bit of a mess. So welcome to our living room. We also, <laughs> I also put my dinner on a plate because it makes it seem a little less like we're eating at a convenience store. Look how cute and like healthy that kind of looks. I chose the Lawson egg salad sandwich because one of you guys said that Anthony Bourdain approved this convenience store sandwich. And I looked it up and it's true. So here we go. Oh my god. Is it really that good? It's so good. Remember that thing I said earlier about Japan and mayonnaise? Japanese egg salad is, there's so much mayonnaise in there and it's a little sweet, or actually it's, it's pretty sweet. But <laughs> the bread is so fluffy and I love how they cut the crust off. It's actually a really good sandwich. I would, I would eat like 10 of these. Mm -hmm. Asahi beer, it's the best. That's my dessert. <laughs> I decided to get an actual hot dinner because I feel like I ate a number of unusual things today. This is fried chicken <laughs> with mashed potatoes, rice, and corn. Fried chicken, that's something that transcends cultural barriers. <laughs> Everyone likes it. Let's see. It tastes like regular fried chicken, like it's warm. The potato salad is great. They put this um, brown, what do you call it? Tonkatsu sauce? Mm -hmm. After the yakisoba hot dog thing, which honestly wasn't bad. <laughs> it's kind of nice to just eat this. <laughs> Tia got grape flavored chocolate. That's pretty good. Look at that. Uh, uh, Green on the inside. Yeah, liquidy. Yep. The creaking noise is the chairs, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was actually a fun one to make, you guys. Mm -hmm. We became quite familiar with convenience store food. Though it was very good, I would not recommend eating 100% of your meals from convenience stores. <laughs> yes, at the end of the day, it's still unhealthy. But thanks, you guys, for coming along with us on this one. This was a fun day. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe! So. Please hold.